been talking about things that are invisible. So bacteria are basically invisible to our eyes, and yet we're covered with them. They're on us, they're in us, they're everywhere. And scientists have known about bacteria for almost 400 years. And what bacteria are, are these primitive single-celled organisms. That the way that they grow is they just grow twice their size, they cut themselves down in the middle, and then one becomes two. And so for all of these 400 years, everyone has thought that these bacteria are so primitive that they're just out there acting like these little asocial organisms. But what we thought about and think about now is that there's no possibility that a bacteria could accomplish all the things they manage, you know, most like making us sick. I mean, lots of terrible things, but also lots of wonderful things if they're just acting as these little individuals because they couldn't have an influence on the environment. And so what we've shown and what quorum sensing is is that bacteria make and release tiny little molecules that you can think of like hormones. And so as the cells grow in numbers, these molecules grow on the outside of the cells. And when the molecules hit a certain amount, which is proportional to cell number, the bacteria detect that those molecules are there, so it's a way of counting neighbors. And then all the bacteria change their, their behavior in unison. And so they start carrying out tasks as enormous groups instead of trying to accomplish these tasks as individuals. And, I mean, so it's just like what we do. You know, if you need to move a piano from here to there, you don't do it yourself. You wait, you get all your friends, and then you go one, two, three, and everybody does it together. And so, it, so we call it quorum sensing. So they sort of vote with these chemical votes. They count the vote, and then they say, we have enough to do it. And then they do it, whatever it is.